To get to Big Bend National Park, you actually have to travel quite a long way. I mean, it's in the middle of the arse end of nowhere. Really? So I set off yesterday, and rather than making the 10 hour drive in one go, I stopped at the cheapest place I could find. Do you know what? I have nothing against the Motel 6. Nothing against it at all. This was 30 something dollars. Comfy bed, shower, it's got a TV. Doesn't turn on, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So today's plan is drive the rest of the way. I'm hoping to get to Big Ben by about midday, set up the tent, get the campsite ready, and then explore. Join me, won't you? The way up the mountains looks nothing like what I expected it to. Well, after a bit of trial and error, the new tent is nicely erected, as you can see. It's not the best spot in the campsite, but the whole campsite is in this sort of such an amazing location in a bit of a valley, but up in the mountains. Very cool. Um, okay, I need to get some water, a drink, because I'm a bit dehydrated after that, and uh, do some exploring. Let's go. All right, evening number one, sunset number one, so tall. Vista. first night. Alright, back to the campsite. It's going to be dark when I get there. And see if we can stay up until the Milky Way comes up. If it comes up. Okay, so, day two. And, uh, Milky Way didn't come up last night, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, I'm going to keep on trying. Day two, going to hit the Lost Mine Trail, which is just around the corner. And uh, see what the view's like, looking east. Uh, and that way I'll know if I, it's worth hitting it for either a Milky Way or a, a, a sunrise hike on another day. So uh, I've just had a coffee, uh, packed everything up, ready to go. Just going to get into my hiking gear and I'll show you what the last man trail looks like. I'm a coffee making food area with some tarp that I can stand on so I don't get footprints everywhere. As you can see, maybe on the floor, that's not been going so well. Water and clothes. And we've got the little camp bed set up over here. So all in all, pretty nice. Looking out of this way, uh, we've got the we've got that food area just down there. Little, little perch there, car over there. And a nice view of all the mountains. Pretty beautiful. It was amazing. I can attest that the Lost Mine Trail yeah, is epic for views. It's a good trail. And then the Windows Trail, the, the proper one, is just such a cool, unique walk. It's a great hike with a really bizarre endpoint. Check it out. So that was good. I'm going to carry on exploring this area tomorrow. Today I'm going to head down to the uh, main canyon area and uh, do the scenic driveway. So come along. Check it out. It's gonna have some beans, some sausage, classic, classic camping. It's silly hat time, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in the desert and you're already sunburnt off one day of hiking. This is the consequence of those lack of actions. That's where we're headed. Let's go. All right, across there, and then I think you can cross over there and then head in. All right, well, we're in the canyon. Find a bit of the hike. The main thing that stands out about Big Ben so far is just how, it's just how every hike is totally unique in its own way. Like really interesting. And this is, 
like right up there. So Big Bend is amazing. down here in the south end of Big Bend. Got up this morning about four o'clock and uh, shot down to the south end of the park just so I could shoot some photos of the mountain range. It's March, which means Milky Way shots are pretty rare, but luckily this is one of the first weeks of the year where it gets up and it gets high enough over the mountains that you can actually shoot it. So uh, having finished that, I thought I'll stick around down here because there's kind of a unique rock feature down here called the Mule Ears and I thought it might be a nice place for a sunrise. So I'm just waiting it out. Over there, if you can see that. So uh, yeah, it's very peaceful down here. Should have about 15 minutes to go. Evening from the Rio Grande. Um, so today, for the sunset, I've driven down to uh, the Rio Grande village and I've taken a walk along the Springs Trail and then kind of hiked off onto an overlook. This little kind of bit of rock that I'm on here. And uh, it's kind of produced what I was hoping. So over this way is the, uh, the Rio Grande itself, the mighty river carving its way through the, uh, the canyons that we saw the other day from the other side and then behind me this way, it sort of drifts off along the Mexico border. That, by the way, is Mexico. That is the other side of the river, is Mexico. I can throw a stone, hit Mexico. So the plan is to wait out the sun now as it drops and see if this turns into something spectacular. But bear with me. any of those photos because the contrast was so heavy with the sun but they could be terrible they have definitely the potential to be stunning and now I've just got to get down this mountain as the sun goes down on a fairly vegetative covered trail keeping my eyes for tarantulas snakes bears and mountain lions so just another day in Big Bend well, it's the last night in Big Bend, so I'm snapping a sunset of the window view, which is the easiest place to get to, but I've not done it, it seems stupid not to do it, so I'm here. Go try and do Milky Way in the morning and a sunrise from the other side of this window, and then I'm done, I'm out of here. So let me show you what I'm looking at. That's it, it's another adventure over with, time to head home. What are my final thoughts? Well, chapstick, that would have been helpful. That's a rocky error, lips are screwed. Uh, that side, love Big Ben. A lot of variety, not a lot of people, great sunsets, amazing camping, good hikes, what's not to love, and I managed to get a couple of Milky Way shots that made me very happy, so join me next time. But uh, I've got a 10 hour drive back to Houston, so I'll see you later. So I've been out hunting the Milky Way for hours before it ever started to look like it was getting light. And that's why you come here. It's why you come to Big Bend, it's the darkest place 
left in the US, main mainland US. I didn't see another car. Didn't see one other person doing the same thing, parked up, shooting. No humans. <laughs> 